You got to watch tomorrow night because Odenkirk and you and Bob uh, and Bob and Odenkirk used to be a writer on Saturday Night Live when yeah. I was there, and it was it was there was, th uh, there was and, four, and Smigel, I Smigel think. and a guy named Greg Daniels. There was that's just, right, that's there was, right. And, and and there was we just called this, I called you the Boiler Room Boys. We used to, and it was so great. Hand it over to the Boiler Room Boys. They'll sprinkle <laughs> some fairy dust on it. Yeah, that's we were amazing. four nerds in a in a little room at Saturday Night Live in the late '80s, early '90s, and this yeah. was our favorite uh, host of SNL. And you would come in, and you would at four in the morning. Be like, get the boiler room, boys. Right. And we'd come running out and be like, what do you want, Mr. Hank? What do you got? Listen, <laughs> yeah, punch this up for me. Come on, I need, I need a character and a premise. Yeah. Give me a character and a premise. Give me we'd be like, we're right Mr. Hanks. And then we'd run back in and blah, 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 blah. we had old time typewriters. Um, we smoked Sm cigars. It smelled bad in it there. Smelled bad. It smelled bad. It was like awful. bad, bad. You know, speaking of TV in the old days, the first time I saw you, and a lot of people, was in Bosom Buddies. You yeah, said yeah, you Bosom started Buddies. in television. Yeah. And then you right. made. And I remember seeing that show, and uh, immediately, like a lot of us were like, that's a funny guy, but then you transitioned into the movie business, and that's gotta be a different, completely different style of acting. Well, a year of unemployment helped an, an awful lot. Right. They canceled Bosom Buddies I, <laughs> in, in February of 1982. Right. Um, and I didn't work for, for a, about a year. And then uh, uh, I had met some of the people on Happy Days, and, and nobody else would make this movie called Splash, and so I had a. I had a meeting with Ron Howard and Brian Grazer. We were all just kind of like quasi-young Turks. And uh, they ended up making that movie. But it, it was tough because I was still operating on all of the skills that I had learned on the TV show, which is at the read-through on Monday, you must kill. They hand you a script, and you've got to, like, get huge screams and laughs. So you're working really hard. Yeah. You're yelling your lines. You know, yeah. hey, Henry, where's my, where's my chapstick? <laughs> <laughs> you say things like that. <laughs> you know. That's my favorite you know, episode. You try to yeah. do stuff like that. What yeah. are you talking about? You lost my chapstick? <laughs> <laughs> Anything there? Yeah. <laughs> so we had, a, we had a read through for uh, the movie Splash. And this had Daryl Hannah and John Candy and Eugene Levy, sure. who, uh, who I was. Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 and. Um, and I was, I, was, I was the lead who was in love with uh, Daryl Hannah, the mermaid. And at the read-through at Ron's house, it had like every department head there, the first, the DP, the, all the, it, it, some executives from that. And every, we were there, there were like 30 people there. We sat down and we started to read through. And I was thinking that, boy, I have, I, I have to score because otherwise I'll lose, they won't cut to me. So I gotta be very funny. <laughs> so we're reading through it and none of the lines were comedic lines, you know? They were just straight lines. You yeah. Know? I love you. I, wait, you're a mystery woman. <laughs> <laughs> How come I didn't meet you until today? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And right. uh, just it, it, and John got laughs and 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 Eugene got laughs because they had comedic roles. They had they had comedic roles and I was just trying to say lines that were not funny. And afterwards, Ron uh, came up to me and said, I, "Look, look, look, I, 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 I." I I know what you're doing, I know what you're doing, I know what you're doing, okay? It's okay, I know what you're doing, you're trying to score. You're trying to score. You think it's funny, you're trying to score. Your job is not to score. Your job is not to score, you're not being funny, let John be Your job is to love the girl. Yeah. You need to love the girl, all right? That's your job. And I just said, are you gonna fire me because of this? And he said, no, no. No, I won't fire you. But I was very, I was worried that I. It's a second there. We but it's you know the, the the chops of doing a show like Bosom Buddies, which was all like you know laughs, and me and Peter Scolari started finishing each other's sentences. You know, yes, yes. About the third week of working together. So. I always thought uh, if I when I because the movies is such a different business. I've always thought if you had a movie and for some reason someone made the horrible mistake of giving me a cameo, I'd come in and I'd like look at the camera and do the crap that I do on yeah. television right away and say, yeah, suddenly people are like, I'm not watching Captain Phillips anymore. Who's the ass yeah, in the yeah. background? <laughs> you can't do any of that this stuff. This is why you're gonna be at this desk for the rest <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's right. your life.